Hello everyone, this is Rob Silva again coming back for one more for one more tutorial. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you want to keep yourself posted of the videos I'm gonna be posting on Cinema 4D and Unity. Um, today I'm gonna go over a spatial audio um, and this is gonna be a very quick um, tutorial on how to add um, audio in the um, virtual environment um, and um, access the audio uh, in terms of distance um, when we move our ear uh, our heads and how the audio plays um, so it's going to be very quick um, and uh, if you want to go to more advanced audio uh, at some point I'm going to um, create other tutorials but this will definitely do a really good job for you um, for you start working um, with Unity. Why right, cool? So here I have my scene, a very basic scene, just a cube there. Um, the idea here is to add an audio uh, into this cube and um, as I approach this cube um, I go here an audio and as I get closer the audio gets louder. As I get farther the audio fades out just like in normal life, right? You, you can notice when you are uh, you can hear a sound from very far away um, and as you get clo closer the sound the noise um, gets louder because you are closer to uh, the location where um, the audio um, the cl closer to the location that's generating um, the sound cool all right so rule number one this is an audio, a free audio component that I downloaded from the web and I'm going to be using this audio. This was an MP3 P3 file. The first thing that you need to do with the file is to um, change the file format to WAV. MP3 will not work in, uh, will not work in Unity. I tried before, I could not make that work. Um, maybe other people can, but I could not by any means MP3. So it's WAV um, file format. Okay. Um, so just by changing um, the file format, I think that the audio will, will work. I did not use any software to um, to, ch to change the audio format. I just changed the uh, um, you know the file format. I just rename it. Uh, the file format and it worked pretty fine. The audio is working as you can see here as I um, um, have the audio here. I just dragged and dropped this. Uh, I first I renamed the audio format and then I dragged and dropped the file into Unity. So here's the file. And you're going to see that's yellow. Usually all the files, audio files for Unity is going to have a yellow um, sort of icon like this. Okay. All right, cool. I have the audio format here. The first thing that you're going to do is um, you're going to click the Align button on Hierarchy. You're going to go to Audio and Audio Source. Click on Add Source. So you have here the Add Source. Um, remember to keep yourself really organized in the hierarchy. I'm just creating one audio for this object, but ideally you want to uh, rename your audio. And uh, actually, I can rename this. I can add, I can um, write um, Audio for cube, blue cube. Uh, like that. At least I know where the audio, uh, what the objects that will um, hold the, this audio will work. When you select the audio here, um, you um, go to the inspector, you will see uh, everything related to the, um, to this panel here. Okay. Um, you can see that's the audio source. You can see position, rotation, scale. Um, you can see output, audio clip. You can see a loop uh, section here, priority, volume, pitch, stereo pan. You also can see another, um, uh, whatever you, you change here, you're going to see sort of this, uh, it's called listener, uh, uh, this graphic here. And the option for you to add more components too. All right, first thing that you're going to do is you're going to grab your audio um, and you're going to drag your audio into the audio clip here. See it right there to the audio clip. So 
the audio is right here. Um, and then what you're going to do is, uh, if your sound loops, if, the, if you want your audio to loop, uh, you know, you can you, you, you can just select a loop here. I want my audio to loop every time that I get closer to this, the audio will be looping. Or if you don't want, and if you want that your audio uh, just um, plays one time, just uncheck this, okay? All right, now, uh, one of the biggest secrets that you cannot forget is on this. Uh, Actually, that's the one. No, it's this one here. Uh, a spatial blend, as you can see, selected to 2D here. Um, and we want it to be a three dimensional audio. So you're just going to go ahead and you're going to go all the way. And you can see it, this green line moving up, up to. And you're going to change it to 3D. Okay. Now you pretty much have any spiritual audio that we were playing, but there are a few more things that you're gonna do on here, okay? Here, um, the max distance, all of this in meter, you can just, let me just uh, put uh, 30 here. Um, so that would be get closer. Let me just go to my scene. As you can see, uh, I'm on the scene here. Here I have my audio file. Um, the, let me show to you what this, is to uh, let's see here I have the max distance now the minimum distance um, I want my audio to um, really I usually put this like very 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 low um, on a minimal distance to hear the audio and then maximum distance here oh, let me change this so you actually can see the maximum distance um, can even let's put 10 here so I can actually see even smaller than this right there. This is all in meters, so um, it's still pretty big. You're usually gonna see two uh, two spheres, one for the minimal distance and one for the max distance. Uh, the max distance is that when I'm walking here, make sure to pay attention to the cursor. When I'm walking here, and I close, I get, I, I get closer to this large sphere, this is outside one, which is relates to the max distance. I'm gonna hear the sound very low, and as I get closer to the center of the sphere, which is the minimum distance, it get louder. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I have my audio, um, I have my audio, uh, let's select this one more time. I have my audio component here. I'm going to get this audio component, I'm going to put right in the middle of my sphere. Let me get closer a little bit here. As you can see, the audio icon is inside of the right inside of the sphere. I'm going to select this again. And the, big the, the, the um, smaller sphere is right inside of the, um, the cube. What I'm going to do is, the max distance here, you see there's some blue button, blue uh, squares here that I can use it to directly add it. I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger a little bit. Um, so as I walk closer, here is my um, uh, my rig. Um, as I get closer to this, I will start hearing the audio. Okay, I'm going to make the minimum distance a little bit smaller right there. So that's kind of pretty much how it works, okay? So let's see it working. Um, again, everything looks pretty good here. Loop, play on awake. It's already checked. It's pretty much when I hit this, um, this sphere, it will start playing because it's play on awake. That's the trigger, okay? Uh, I have on a 3D check here. Everything looks pretty good. All right, excellent. So let me um, save this and uh, Keep your eye on the recording. All right, everyone. I can hear this sound from really far away, and it's not very strong. Uh, and it, that sound really travels. And as I get closer, it 
get it gets very loud so it's like a sound adjustment so the sound really troubles That's how you create basic spatial audio.